Hello. Um, it's been a while. <laughs> I just felt like vlogging, so here we are. <laughs> um, feeling very in my emotions, and I'm working hard on learning to be okay with that. This vlog might be a little. <laughs> Uh, um, so I've talked about it before, but um, in a long time, you may know this, but um, this time of year is fuck. <laughs> Year's really hard for me. Um, we, I, my family are coming up on. Um, my mom's birthday and the 10 year anniversary of her death, which is so wild that it's been 10 years. Um, clearly it feels like it's yesterday. Um, but I've been feeling very in my emotions recently and my, um, I've been working really hard on like being aware and in the moment and present with my emotions and not trying to hide them. <laughs> um, so, what do I do on a work day? I uh, watch a video I made mean, for her funeral of like photos of her and just sat here and cried my eyes out for the past five minutes. It's what I needed. Um, yeah, I'm feeling grief is such a weird thing. Um, Cause like it's just such a strong emotion that when it comes up, it feels, you know, it could be, 10 years ago, it could be five years ago, or it could have, it could be today. It all feels just as intense. So, I'm gonna vlog the next couple days. <laughs> Talking about my emotionalness. Um, and if you guys don't wanna watch because it may be a little bit more raw than usual, that's fine. You don't need to. Um, but I wanna document this time of year because uh, I need a distraction um, or just because um, this whole 10 year anniversary thing is really big, so, um, for me, yeah. There's gonna be a lot of jump cuts in this. Um, her birthday's on Sunday, and I'm glad it's on a weekend. Um, I'm planning on, I don't know, going to the beach, um, listening to her favorite songs, going to get flowers, um, for her, even though... Her grave's not here, but getting flowers for her. Just, you know, being in my emotions and like, yeah. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. I will watch this video I, I made um, and it has some old like home movies in it and I haven't heard the sound of her voice. Well, obviously in a while, but like in video in a long time. Um, it definitely, like, brings back a lot of stuff, obviously. Um, things in terms of, like, food and weight loss and stuff are going well. Um, I've lost 12 pounds, which is exciting. Um, I'm currently reading this book called Eat to Live. It's very interesting, but it's mainly about just consuming a high volume of high nutrient low calorie foods so just a bunch of raw veggies and stuff a bunch of vegetables fruits like whole foods not um processed um and so i've been following not following that to like a t but taking a lot of that into account with my food and eating a lot of fresh vegetables and it seems to be working for me which is really nice i not really been working out that much i i want to move more but sometimes I just don't feel like it. Um, and realistically, you know, um, with the weight I'm at right now, a lot of this weight can come off pretty fast um, just by eating good foods at a calorie deficit. Um, I am not starving myself, just to be clear. Um, I'm watching my portion sizes, but um, yeah, I'm not starving myself. I'm having like, giant salads. They're just filled with um, no oil, no fats, no no oil, no processed fats. Like I'll, I'll have avocado and like make a dressing using beans and stuff. But um, 
yeah, I've cut out oils. Oil for my diet, like coconut oil or olive oil, spray oil. I use a non-stick pan. Okay, I'm rambling. I'll talk to you guys more about my food. Um, yeah, but coffee. Um, I've put almost, I guess I like, I feel like I needed like an emotional release, but uh, I put all that stuff away for now. I am working. <laughs> um, I think on lunch I'm going to prep some stuff. Um, I do, I've been doing like bulk prep for my food, um, like cutting up different ingredients, like cutting up bell peppers, cucumbers, cooking beans, rice, quinoa, water cooking, like water steaming mushrooms, um, and that kind of stuff, and just putting them all in containers so I can just throw them all together. So I need to cook some mushrooms and sweet potato and cut up some zucchini and cucumber on my lunch. So I think I'll do that um, and bring you guys along for that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a heavy start to the vlog, but it's life. Um, I'm sure with this past year, uh, a lot of people have experienced loss and um, hopefully, yeah, uh, hopefully there's people out there that can relate. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna finish work. I'll see you guys in a sec. Better get up on my way This is the start of a new day Feel fresher than toothpaste Singing out, this be the new thing New swing set I'ma go for the loop, man I'm a fruit gone loopy That's the Sammy the toucan Screaming out, who cares? My soul bare, I'm done with the cold stare My heart hang off the tip of my shoestrings Stay untied, that's usual I'm not put together Do better than you do That's magic, I'm voodoo You a dog playing dresser But your get up is poo-poo Okay, I'll fess up, I'm messed up But that's true for you too We stare at our messages Hoping for contact Like somebody Please take us out of this nonsense The world end after every broadcast and to save it seem a tall task with no cape and no cash and a broke car with no brakes and no stakes involved in the state of the world state. It's all lost, so we counting our birthdays. We party hard, get turned on a Thursday. And like we got it all, why we act in the first place? You raised by a screen that get up in your nerve ends. You do need tomb babies, better know that you perfect. Nobody can tell you one thing. Get your crazy, throw it all on the surface. Make your something from nothing. Take a shot at your purpose. Post a talk for a man who probably needs his own service. Cause he's scared. Scared to death of how everyone think Probably changed my whole look for a share on the feed Too focused on the focus on screens I was taking pictures and moments where I should actually be Welcome to the age of distraction Where the follow count can Where we lacking on queens Where you follow someone Because they follow someone who actually follows their dreams Damn, I'm bitter as well. I should probably change But I'm so stuck in my ways Please sort of sing this blue is sweet, well I truly see Love like movie scenes, it's a doozy thing Answers on the way, throw it all away Just to feel complete, and just for that wonderful run mm. But it's never enough mm. Baby, give me more, give me more, give me more, give me more, give me more I ain't never feel full, not at all, not at all, not at all, not at all. Ooh, where's that wonderful run? Can I help you? Um, I'm done with work. Yay! It's the weekend. Honestly, honestly, finishing work on a Friday is just like a great feeling, even though I love what I do. It's so nice. Uh, we have a child here who knows that I'm done with work. He gets so excited when I finish work because he knows it's it, he knows it's time to hang out. Goose. He knows it's time for me to feed him. He knows it's time for him to go out. He knows it's time for us to play. Um. Oh. I saw this TikTok of someone saying that, um, like, being made fun of or whatever because their dog was their only friend, but, like, honestly, I'm fine with it. He's my best friend. He's my best friend. Of course I have friends, but, like, especially in this pandemic, Goose and I, besties. 
you guys just saw um, at lunch I did a bunch of like bulk ingredient prep just cutting up a bunch of veggies cooking some sweet potatoes cooking some mushrooms with water um, I'm putting them all into containers for my salads um, I don't really have much planned for the weekend um, I've really been kind of trying to take it easy on the weekends um, I have I'm gonna talk to Larissa tomorrow who is my one of my best friends um, she's in Germany and we try and like FaceTime or like Skype um, a couple times a month so we're gonna chat tomorrow um, and then yeah I don't really have much time for this weekend but anyways I feel like my mind is all over the place because it's like it's the weekend yay batch prepped food on my lunch break oh, but I need to go down <gasps> I need to go down and do those dishes um, and take Goose out and feed him and play with him. But yeah, I'm going to keep vlogging this weekend because um, as I explained to you guys, it's kind of um, a heavy weekend and vlogging it will give me like a distraction, I guess. Um, yeah. All right. Let's Goose. Let's go. He's ready. You know that TikTok song that goes, there goes a crackhead that I see each morning. I feel like that every morning. Killing it. Okay, let's go take a shower. Alone. I'll see you guys after.
morning. Um, excuse my face, I just put my serum and my moisturizer on, so. If I look greasy, I'm not, I promise. I'm just hydrating my face. Okay, while it doesn't look very appetizing, it is, I promise. <laughs> and it's really good for you too, so it's like, the best of both worlds. Um, I don't usually put avocado in it, but uh, we had one that was going bad, so. Threw it in there, threw an apple in there. It's just kind of like a bulked up superfood smoothie. Um, I used the frozen fruit, which turned it this color, um, instead of ice, just so it stays like thick. Um, and add flaxseed. You can see, but I added the last of my matcha in here too. Um, so I need to get some more this week. Um, but it's very good. Um, along with some watermelon. And I did, does not look that good right now. Hold on, let me mix it up. <laughs> I made myself an iced coffee, um, so I have that as well. Um, I, I'd like to get to the point where I'm not drinking coffee anymore, but like we're just not at that point right now, and that's okay. Uh, we don't need to be at that point right now. Um, so this is my breakfast. I didn't film as much on Sunday as I thought, um, and I just filmed what I wanted to, but for being a really hard day, it was a really good day. Um, just, yeah, a lot of stuff happened, uh, good. I got to spend a lot of time with my aunt. We ended up, we went to one beach, but it was just insanely packed. So we drove, we were literally just driving along, um, the coast and we saw an empty beach. So we decided to stop and like, let Goose Run and I, it's the first time I felt like free in a long time. And hard thing to explain, but, um, with this weight that I have gained, that I'm working to get off, um, I find myself constantly being self-conscious, um, and always wondering, like, what I look like to other people, which is a mindset I'd like to work to get out of and not, you know, not just have that be a byproduct of losing my weight, because even when I was down at, like, you know, what, whatever, 210, um, I still wondered that because I had like loose skin and not as much as I do now, but it still was there. So it's something I want to work on regardless. But, um, and I'm always like, it's, you know, like working out is hard right now. Um, because moving my body is hard because I have so much extra weight that I'm carrying. And what, we literally just walked out onto the beach and like I didn't even think about whether it was going to be hard for me or not. I just did it and we forgot our masks. There's no one there, so it was fine. <laughs> but we both literally just like forgot our masks in the car because we, I don't know, I just felt so present and connected with the moment and it was really cool. Uh, yeah, it was really good. The beach was really nice and we went to a, a plant store. Um, this plant store I've been wanting to go into for a really long time since we moved here. Um, I haven't really had a chance to explore where I live because we moved in the middle of the pandemic. And um, with me being half vaccinated and my aunt being full, fully vaccinated and the plant store wasn't, there wasn't many people inside. Um, and they had like the back and front door open so there was air circulating. I felt relatively safe. And so that was the first time I've gone into a store in over a year. And it did wonders for my mental health in terms of just like hope <laughs> um, for the future. I didn't buy anything. Um, I'm not buying any plants. Um, I. <laughs> Have plenty, um, but it was cool, and it was, I got to see I got to see some really rare plants that I love, um, that I would love to own one day. But um, they had them in that store. It was really cool to see. So uh, yeah, it was a really good day. Um, definitely felt more connected to my mom, which was really nice. And thank you to everyone who reached out on Insta um, after I posted. I felt so much love um, on Sunday. And it meant a lot to me. I intended to get up this morning and um, do a yin yoga routine before work. Uh, but it's like rainy and a little gloomy and cold. And my body was just telling me to stay in bed and sleep a little bit longer. So I did. And I'm going to do the yin yoga routine after work. Um, so I may film that for the next vlog, possibly. We'll see. Um... But yeah, that's that's this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this was a fun one to film. I felt more connected um, 
with you guys than I have uh, in a couple of my past ones. Um, and I think that is because, well, uh, when I was more connected to my emotions, but um, I feel like I, I'm i really working on being present, being aware with everything, and really truly working on myself, um, and caring for myself, and loving myself, and doing the things that will make life easier for me, <laughs> um, in terms of eating really healthy, nourishing food that, um, as a byproduct is going to help me get to a healthy weight, um, moving more, um, and just being, being here. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed filming it. Let me know down below, um, let me know down below if you have any video suggestions that you want to see me film or topics you want to see me cover or talk about. Um, I'm honestly, like, open to, I think, pretty much anything. Um, so let me know. Otherwise, I'll leave my social media down below so you can follow me there if you would like. Uh, I do update my Instagram pretty much multiple times a day. You can catch up with me there uh, if you would like to. Um, and that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this vlog. Uh, and also, don't forget the only way to predict your future is to go out there and create it for yourself. And I will see you guys next vlog. Bye.